Good morning. I'm Helen from Georgia, and I'm out here this morning bright and early. Gonna start a new project. It's gonna be, uh, I'm gonna make my own rocks out of Portland cement. I'm, I'm, I have got interested in doing some rock painting, and it's, it's a lot of fun, and I bought some rocks, but they're all different sizes, and they're not suitable all of them for my painting that I that I want to do on them so I have decided to make my own out of Portland cement and Georgia sand and see how they turn out and I'm going to paint some for you and show you how they look and uh, I'm going to get around here now and uh, mix up my cement and show you how I do that and thank y'all so much for watching this video. Have a blessed day. Subscribe and share. This is four cups of sand. I'm mixing up my things I'm going to make my rocks from. Alright, this is eight cups of sand. This is four cups of Portland cement. I'm not making as much as I. It's not take. It's not gonna take that much to make this. But mix up your cement and sand. Okay. Mix up my water and this all this is gonna be this mixture is gonna be sort of thick so I got to be careful with my water whatever you're making if you put four cups of Portland cement you put eight cups of sand. That's how I, that's how I mix my mixture up, and and it, it's always it does good. And the water is just however much it takes to mix up what you're trying to mix. If you're uh, making something that you're going, you want your cement to hold uh, and not run any, you mix it up thick like this right here, like like it will stay just balled up like a ball. If you, but you don't want it where it'll run through your fingers and run off when you're making. When you pour in a mold, like right, you can have it thinner, but when you're uh, making something that you want to stick and hold up and not run off, you have to make it thick. This is stuff <laughs> that I've learned making, making up my cement and Okay, I think I've got it mixed up. Okay, let me take it over here to the table. Here's some little bowls that I'm going to use to make a little rock. Anything with my okay. 
There's one. Here's another one. These are the rocks I'm trying to make. Uh, I'm going to make all kinds. There's another one. I found these little things at Goodwill. And I'm gonna make I'm gonna make one out of this. Just a rock. another one another one a bowl that I'm gonna try I don't, I don't I'm not gonna fill it up I'm just gonna put some in it another one got something else here I'm gonna try I don't know that it'll come out of this thing I'm just gonna put a little bit in here and see okay that's another one now I think I'm just gonna make some up round are expensive when you go buy a bag of rocks I've got rocks everywhere. <laughs> so we're going to see how these turn out. Good morning. I'm Helen from Georgia, and I'm out here this morning going to open up a project that I started a few days ago. And it's some rocks that I made out of cement. I, I bought some rocks from Home Depot, and they didn't, they were not, all suitable for, for painting so I decided to make my own rocks in the shape I wanted and see how that worked and that's what I'm doing today I'm going to uh, get them out of the mold and see how they look and 
uh, paint them or whatever today and, and let y'all see how that looks. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Have a blessed day. Subscribe and share. Thank you. Okay, this is my rocks that I fixed that I, I'm going to paint. And these are the little rocks that look like uh, cheese straws. <laughs> I was going to paint them that look like that. And these are some little bowl things that I made. And these are the little things that I was going to paint on so it would have a flat round surface like I wanted. And these are some that come out of I made in this bowl and all these I just mixed up my cement and arranged it in things and poured it and that's that's them here's my other one that uh I put in a bowl. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go get my paint. And I'm going to come out here and paint. Be right back. Okay, I'm gonna put some I'm gonna put a little bit of paint together. Not a whole lot, but some yellow. I'll put some silicone in here. it up a little. I'm just experimenting because I don't really know how to do this, but I'm going to try to learn because some of it I like. Uh, I don't like all of it, all that. I don't like the big pores and all the paint running everywhere. This might not be enough to do much. I think. Okay, I'm going to set it over there. Uh, things over here. Uh, I think I'm going to pour a little bit of red first. I'm just going to try this uh, try this and see how it works. I don't know what it's going to do, but it's not going to be real runny. I know that. And I'm going to put some blue Some purple over here. Yeah. 
Yeah, Lul. Some blue right here. Red. Red. Let's spray some. I made this real thick for a reason, I think. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing, hardly. But I'm just trying things, that's all I'm doing. Another little dot of yellow. This is what I'm going to try. I'm going to try to blow this paint around. See how it turns out. I need my little turntable.
We'll just see how it looks when it dries. Okay, I'm going to paint another rock. I think I'm going to paint this one like blue. Let me get my paint out. see it. It's not going to be that many colors. Okay. I'm going to have blue. This is blue acrylic. Doesn't want to come out very much. Which I'm not going to use a whole lot anyway. I think I'll take the top off and get it out faster. I don't like <laughs> this stirring uh, paint. I like get it in there and stir it up and start painting. <laughs> I'm going to put some white in this so it'll be a lighter blue and I'm going to put some white in here. Put some yellow. This is acrylic paint from Walmart. Okay, I'm gonna put some white in this yellow too. I don't want it this yellow. I'm putting uh, silicone. I got it from Walmart. Okay, I, I got me some sticks here that I, I cut them, I broke them in two because they were too long and they would fall out of the cup, so I broke them in two so I could leave them in there and they wouldn't fall out of the cup. A little red in this dark blue. To make it a little darker. I start I, I started to paint this, but I decided I was just gonna You don't have to paint it. It doesn't matter. I, I've been experimenting some. <laughs> and I, I like to go ahead and get through with stuff instead of uh, doing all this extra stuff that I don't care about doing. Okay. put the light blue. I'm going to put the light blue. And this is my made rocks that I made so I could have the kind of surface I wanted. put some white now I'm going to 
put the yellow. dark okay now <laughs> uh, sort of looks like a fried egg don't it <laughs> alright I'm going to blow the paint around now and uh See what it does. This keeps your lungs in good shape when you're blowing the straw. <laughs> oh, I think it's beautiful already. If anyone is interested in crafts and stuff, this is so much fun. Try it. You know, I didn't like it too much to start with because it looked like it was too much trouble. It looked like it took up a lot of time stirring, and I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to take up a lot of time stirring all kind of paint. I just, I just wanted to do it the easy way. It looks like flowers and all kind of, uh. designs it's in it I mean it just comes in there by itself that is beautiful to me already so I'm going to uh, let this one I'm just going to leave this one like it is because I think it's beautiful. So I'm going to set it over here and let it dry. It, it just looks amazing. All this designs in it and colors are, it's really beautiful. So I'm going to set this one over here. I'm going to do another one. With another color. I thought you had to, like paint it to paint this and all that but you don't you really don't you can just uh, paint it just like it is that's what I'm gonna do okay I'm gonna uh, paint uh, another one now and it's gonna be I'm gonna put some orange with this yellow paint I just mix up colors I, I I like to do stuff <laughs> uh, my way, I reckon you want to say. I'm going to stir this up. I'm going to put some green, a little green in here. Not a whole lot. White, silicone. I'm just mixing up some white and green and you can do whatever colors you want to okay I'm gonna drop this brown in here it's not gonna be a whole lot of that I'm just gonna spread it around where I want it you 
You might not even be able to see it. I don't know. We don't have long to wait for Thanksgiving because it's almost here. And it's still kind of pretty weather. It's It's been... We have some cool days and some warm days and so I like that. <laughs> I like warm days yellow down. I just don't even know what it's going to look like because I've not done it. But I haven't done one like this. I don't know what to expect. But whatever it is, it'll be okay. It sort of looks like fall of the year colors. I'm going to start blowing. Pretty strong blowing, I'm blowing my paint off. <laughs> Let me see if I can slow down a little bit. <laughs> I think I need a little bit more on the edges. Okay, let me blow a little more. I'm painting around the edges a little with the colors that's dripping off the sides. When it dries, I'll paint the bottom just a mingly color or something to match the top. I think that's beautiful too. Okay, I'm going to set this aside. This is lighter blue. This is white.
sort of need to let y'all see what I'm doing. I, I forget what I'm even doing. I'm supposed to be letting everyone see what I'm doing, and I get around here on this side, and I don't even think about it. But I'm just trying to get up some of the paint that's running off the sides and putting it back on because it's laying like the paint's running down. I'm just trying to cover the whole surface with paint. This is beautiful to me. I love these colors. I'm mixing a little darker color. I'm going to take this around here and let it dry. I'm going to let you see how that looks after it dries. This is the one I... Did with a purple and yellow. I'm going to see how that looks. Finish drying. And this is the other one that I fixed. I'm going to let them dry now. And, and this is the one I just, the first one I did. And, and it's already dry. So that's how it looks. And we'll let the rest of them dry and see how they look and I'll come back and I'm gonna put some Mod Podge on them and after when they dry and then I'm gonna let you see how they look thank y'all so much for watching this video have a blessed day subscribe and share thank you blue red and white I'm gonna I'm out here uh, I let this dry and I this is what it looks like I'm going I want some uh, flowers on it I'm going to try to paint some flowers on this if I can just trying things that I want to try <laughs> to make it look a little better mixing up my paint Line it in and then I'm going to come back and lighten it some. Okay, let's see. I'm going to put one right here. I, I really, I like the kind of background, but I don't like just looking at mingled stuff all the time. I want something like a flower to look at. That's just me. I'm just old and <laughs> I, uh, I just want to try some new things. This is acrylic paint uh, that I'm using. Just acrylic paint from Walmart. Uh, We don't have a arts and crafts store where I live. Uh, we're hoping, I'm hoping, they will get one soon. I don't know. We haven't had one in a long time. This is nothing fancy, I can tell you. It's just uh my little try at this. My little wind chime is shining over here on my table. 
I don't want to get out of the picture. I'm going to put a red one right here in the middle. Because it looks like there might be one already started. I'm going to set this aside and let it dry a little. Okay, I've got this one that I done started on painting and I had to let it dry. I think I'm going to put some light blue flowers on it. want it to be overpowering or anything I just want it to you know just have a similarity to a flower because I just like to see a little bit of something that I recognize on a on a one of these pores I don't want to get it out of the picture where you can't see it. Okay, my my camera cut off. I'm putting uh, the little centers in here on the flowers. I'm putting a little orange and yellow and brown. this dry okay this is one that I poured dark color sort of <laughs> red and blue together oh okay You know, this is the uh, things that I made from Portland cement to paint on because I couldn't find any rocks that I liked. But they're not all suitable to paint on, so I decided that I would just try to make my own rocks. It's a lot cheaper than <laughs> paying for them at Home Depot. And all of them don't work. So I just decided to make my own. Try it and see how it worked. But it seems to be doing pretty good. I'm not that great at pouring or any of that stuff yet. I don't even know if I ever will be. It's just a lot. I, I, there's a some of it I just don't care for. I like a 
something you can see a picture or something. That's just me. I'm I'm old and I get all kind of ideas <laughs> uh, a lot different than a lot of people. But I guess people have a right to be different. I keep forgetting that I'm need to be letting everyone see what I'm doing. Now I'm going to put the little centers in. Got to put the little centers on this one. So I'll do that now. Okay, I'm going to let this dry. Okay, I have another one. If I can do this, most anyone can do it. Uh, just get a paintbrush and some paint and just get something and try to paint something. That's what I do. And, it, and, it, and it's not going to appeal to everyone, I'm sure. It's something, I'm trying something new. Okay, I'm going to let this dry a few minutes and, and go over it again with the white uh, paint because white paint so you can see through it pretty good. I may. Put a little bit of green leaves in it. A little more. Oh.
Okay, I've let them dry now, and I'm putting a uh, Mod Podge on here. Let's see if I can find out where you are. Right here, Mod Podge. Where the base sealer glue finish. So it's good to for outside. Put a good coating of this on it. Okay, I'm going to set this over here and let it dry. And this one, I'm going to paint, put Mod Podge on it. I'm going to be through with them till I make some more and I got some more to make I just haven't uh, done them all because it takes too long to do as many as I made but I'm going to do them too but just not today <laughs> I just think this is great anyone anybody can do this all you got to do is just get a paintbrush and a little paint and just dab on some paint. I think that's beautiful. I like the dark colors and the flowers. and I just love making stuff that I didn't even know I could make. I never knew that I could do this. I never tried, but I decided one day to try it. And you have to keep trying. You can't just do one thing and if it messes up, you just quit. You just have to keep on uh, trying different things that will work for you. Let this dry. Kind of looks messed up, but uh, when it dries, it'll be clear and shiny and pretty. I got one more. This blue one that I made. I like the little oval thing. I'm just trying a lot of things. See what I like the best. <laughs> okay. I'm going to let that dry. Thank you all for watching this. Have a blessed day. Okay, this is the pieces that I painted the little flowers on after it got dry and I put Mod Podge on it and it looks real shiny and smooth and I love it it looks great so that's that's it that's the final end of the video